Hey yo, what's going on all my gamers, all my Weathering Waves gamers? So, it's been about a month since, uh, actually it's not even been a month, it's been the entire 1.0 of Weathering Waves release, and they have the survey co coming, uh, or they have the survey out, and I want to go over it, and let's just talk about Weathering Waves, right? We're going to talk about how it was on release, and I'm going to give my thoughts, and man, my thoughts might be interesting, we'll see. <laughs> Let me know if you guys are agreeing with me. If you guys don't agree with me, we'll, we'll we'll get through it. So, as of now, how satisfied are you with Weathering Waves? Uh, man, I really want to put in between somewhat and very, like just satisfied in general. Uh, here I'm gonna future proof this and just put very satisfied. Okay, based on your experience of current version, how satisfied you with the apps with the story? Uh, somewhat satisfied. I mean, <clears throat> it is so it is a gotcha game, and it's gonna have you know gotcha game esque level of story. So you're not really going into this with like, oh my god, this is gonna be groundbreaking. It's gonna be something new. No, I mean it's an anime, RPG, um, gotcha story, right? It's not crazy. It definitely gets better. That's for sure. I like the part with Scar, but as far as like a groundbreaking story, not really. Progression? Uh, I think somewhat satisfied is good. World expl exploration, I'm very satisfied with. World exploration is pretty insane. Especially, um, just going around the map is very nice, especially with running not taking up a lot of, uh, what do you call it a lot of stamina i really like that i like that a lot so just being able to run constantly i think i think we're good there chat that's a that's a pretty pog for me combat it goes without saying chat this is some of the smoothest fighting and smoothest combat the the perfect parry all the uh fighting mechanics i'm a big fan of it chat i love it i love the the, the fighting in this game let's see ui ui design i don't really care it's not it doesn't really bother me it's kind of whatever ui doesn't get in my way good for me cinema character art i am very satisfied <laughs> i am very satisfied especially with the people of jinjo um i have said in a few videos that i'm a very big fan of uh of chinese i guess you could say traditional chinese clothing i think female rover is amazing her thighs are so goddamn thick. I'm all about it. Uh, and then you have your big, your big Aboba characters like uh, Chang Li and uh, oh, why, why can't, why am I blanking on her name? She's on my main team too. Uh, Tao Chi, Tao Chi and Chang Li, man, like pillows. You know what I'm saying? I'm all about it, Chet. I love it. And all these characters are just hot. I love all the way the characters are made and their splash arts are amazing. I'm all about it. Scenery art. Yeah, I, I love the way the map looks. The map is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I, I love exploring it. I love going around it. I think everything looks good. Uh, music and sound effects. I really wish they separated this because the sound effects when you get like a perfect parry, I think it sounds great. But... The music, um, uh, the music ha leaves a lot to be desired. I think that the beginning music, like the opening music on the loading screen, I think it had a chance to be amazing, but they didn't loop it properly. It just stops and it fades out. And I'm not a really big fan of that. In my opinion, I really think it would have been better if the music faded out, do 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 and then it kept going instead of like, stopping going dead silent for like a second or two and then starting up again and that's my opinion though bigger beginner experience uh pretty pr i think it's pretty good actually i think this is a pretty beginner friendly game to be honest i think it's great optimization chat i gotta i gotta hit him with it i can't i can't let it slide this is something i cannot let slide this is one of this has been one of the things that has plagued my gaming experience with this game is like the optimization for this game is god awful and i cannot let that slide i can't let my love for the game take away how fucking dog shit this game is optimized it's fucking terrible like it is not good at all in any way shape or form 
And I really wish it was because I sometimes I don't even want to get on because it's like, well, now I have to sit in the loading screen for another five to ten minutes while this game loads. I really wish it was. But because and this is going to sound weird, but because of the way that the combat is and how complicated it is, I don't want to play it on my phone. But like on my phone, I have an iPhone 13. It actually loads so fast. I think the iPhone, the, the phone version is actually very well optimized. PC, I feel like I can't chat. I just can't give it to him. I do. I gotta take that away from him. That those are like big points docked. Honestly, co-op experience. I don't have any friends, so I can't really tell you. Oh, there you go. There's a not sure. Don't really have any friends that I played with. As of now, no primary use of playing Weathering Waves. I play on PC. Yeah, I only play it on PC. I want to play it on mobile, but I, like I said, the I, I might just log in on mobile. But like I won't fight anything on mobile just because fighting is uh kind of hard because <laughs> I I already have enough trouble staying alive in uh on PC as it is. Uh, how often do you play Weathering Waves with the controller? I don't. Where's that? Never play with the controller. How satisfied are you controls with mouse and keyboard? I'm pretty satisfied. I don't really have any problem with it. I feel like the echoes kind of trips me up a bit because I'll use Q like if I was, like if I was playing Genshin and it's not right so it's tripped it tripped me up a bit D not a big deal you get used to it you move on it's not a big deal oh god as of night now what do you find most enjoyable about the game interactive combat experience that's for sure multiple how many do we get to pick enjoyable in-game music it is enjoyable I don't want to say it's not character design Challenging gameplay and combat. Yeah, I like that. I haven't done the I haven't done the roguelike gameplay. Character combat. Yeah. Stories. Eh, stories, whatever. I echoes. I don't like artifacts. So that's not a that's not a slight at this game. It's just the fa the the whole thing of artifacts in general. So echoes. Now my favorite thing. You know what? It is what it is. You know. We're going to go on with that. Obtaining characters and weapons. I actually do want to give it to them on their gotcha mechanic in this game. It actually is pretty pretty good. Pretty. F I don't know if the word forgiving is a word. But especially with the weapon banner. It's really. It, I think it's in a league of its own. I think it's top tier with that. So I'll give it to that. Exploring the world. Yeah. I, I like that. I, I love just doing just random puzzles around the world. It's like nice and relaxing. Call up with friends. <laughs> and you know. Upgrading weapons echoes. I think this is fine. I haven't had a problem with the level echoing the levels because I haven't leveled my echoes. Does that make sense? So I haven't had a problem just because I wasn't at the point where I was leveling echoes because I don't have anyone's echoes farmed yet. So it's just like I, I guess when I get everyone's echoes farmed, I'll, I'll start having a problem with it. But for me right now, not really. Mitchie making, uh, enjoying open world scenery. Yeah. World design, open world scenery. Merch. Mini event, event mini games. Overdash. I liked Overdash. Overdash was kind of nice. And then, uh, alloy smelt. Yeah, I like that. Uh, flashy and satisfying combat visuals. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing particularly interesting. As of now, how likely are you continue playing this game? Uh, very likely. We're gonna we're gonna stay on this chat. We're gonna we're gonna stay on it. What is your goal motivation for continuing to play right now? I do need to level my characters and my echoes. Experiencing the story, waiting for your stories. Stories, whatever, but it's fine. Uh, hologram. I haven't done a hologram yet, just because my characters aren't built. So I feel like I would just be wasting my time. Tower adversary. Sure. Co-op with friends. If I ever get friends, eventually. <laughs> Earning unit exposed to raising soul three phase. I think I'm at the end because I'm level 40 right now. So I think I kind of got to the end. Uh, sure. Completing available quests. Not really. Open world combat. Yeah. Uh-huh. Open world scenery. Saving up to draw for weapons. Not really. Leveling up data bank. I'm only one level away, and I am going to have to stream this eventually because I need to get to the end of the story. And I think I'm two chapters away from finishing that because I don't have the last enemy unlocked. <laughs> so that's going to that's gonna be awkward. 
Well, we'll see how that goes. Collecting echoes. It's going to keep me going, that's for sure, because I need new echoes. Or I need actual artifact sets. I don't have anyone leveled up at all. Enjoying the endgame music? Not really. Draw characters? Yes, sir. Um, as of this, as of me recording this, there's only two hours left for Yinlin banner. I unfortunately did not get her, so we're going to be saving up for Ch uh, Changli because I have a guarantee. Participating in events? Yeah, sure, why not? How satisfied are you with Tacit Fields? Uh, somewhat satisfied. Uh, I'll say very sad. I'll say very sad. I'll say somewhat satisfied because they are removing that animation at the end. I didn't know it was that annoying until I started doing tacit fields, which I started doing because, um, I was like, this got me a few data banks, data bank entries. I'm going to do it. Plus, you know, that event's going on right now. So I did some tacit fields and, um, man, <laughs> that, 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 uh, animation looks like it takes a while. Uh, how satisfied are you with material forgeries? I, I actually really do like this. I think that forgery challenges and stuff like that is actually really good. I actually do get a lot of stuff out of it. And I've never really been like, oh, I can't level up. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. I've never been without materials to level up my weapons or my characters. So I think it's good. How satisfied are you with echo gameplay? <sighs> Uh, I'll give it to him. I think the echoes are cool, and I love the different kinds of abilities. Even though at the end you're gonna, you're only gonna get a certain amount, because, um, how do you call it? You're only gonna get a certain amount because you have to get like the best in slot echoes, right? So, so far, you know, just getting whatever echoes is kind of fun. How satisfied are you with consumption of wave plates? I'm actually very dissatisfied. Everything costs way too much. I think someone actually mentioned this in one of my videos because they were talking about stamina. And I thought they meant like moving stamina, but I think they were talking about wave planes. And I do think wave planes are the wave plates are way too scarce. Like you get a lot, you get 240, but everything costs 60. So it's like, well, like, <laughs> what the fuck? Everything costs too damn much. Yeah, they could give us a thousand. They can give us a thousand wave planes, but if doing one boss costs nine hundred, what's the point, right? But that's just me. That's just what I think. Do you have any feedback to suggest about the leveling experience? I actually think the le I. Here we're gonna just write this together. I actually think that leveling up is way too fast i'm actually of the belief that i think that leveling up is way too fast i barely play at all and i've gotten to level 41 in a month so it's like and all i've done is dailies and using my resin so i think that is way too fast in my opinion but i mean if you guys enjoy it you guys enjoy it. I can't tell you what you can like, what you don't like. In my opinion, I just think it's way too fast. I kind of thought Honkai Star Wales was a little too fast, too, if I'm being completely honest. But, you know, <laughs> it's not. It's like about what? One year in and I'm already... I was uh, level 70 before the year uh, anniversary, so, you know. <laughs> I'm probably going to get to max level before the year anniversary for this game. Uh, how satisfied are you with the performance experience in PC? I am very dissatisfied. This game is absolutely dog shit on PC. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, bro. This game is so poorly optimized on PC. I actually want to like, now I will say this though. Once I get into game, it all seems to like stabilize. But the fact that it takes me so long to get from the loading screen to in game where it's set, it's stabilized i think that's really bad and i have everything on like medium and some things on low like bro do i have to have this game at pixels so i can play it on my pc i have a very decent pc like i don't want to say i have a great one but i have a decent one and it's still really bad i don't know i i that's one thing i will not i'm not um well that's one thing i'm not budging on i'm sorry <laughs> What do you find on satisfactory? Uh, loading speed, that is awful. Graphic quality, definitely. Uh, smoothness can happen at some times. 
game stability. The game has never okay. The game has never crashed and has never done anything like that. This is all like graphic qualities and stuff like that. Do you have any other feedback to suggest about performance on PC? Nah, I don't even know how my PC works. I'm gonna be completely honest. What content are you looking forward to experiencing more than waves in the future? New areas. <laughs> I don't know what I would do with new co-op modes. No one taught, no one plays with me. Uh, new companion stories. Yes, give one to my girlfriend. Oh no, I think Chishia does have one, so I think we're good there. Maybe one for uh, 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 Genshi or uh, Genshin. There we go. New characters. Yes, sir. New main quest. Uh, kinda. New exploration quest and side quest. No. New echoes. Not really. More combat mechanics. Ooh, maybe, actually. Not really. Yep. Uh-huh. Tough for combat challenges. That would be kind of nice. Based on your current experience with the game, do you have any other feedback suggestions? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Not really. Uh, There we go. That, that'll do it, chat. Chat, I can definitely tell you guys that i'm having a great time with this game i don't want to say that i'm not i know the way that i'm slamming like the performance issues and stuff like that it would sound like i'm not having a good time with this game but i am so i don't want you guys to think that oh rin hates this game he wants this game to fucking flop blah, blah, blah. no i'm having a good time the game is fun to play the combat is amazing and events are fun Plus, these characters are hot. <laughs> I think it's a very well-made game. It's just some things need to be fixed, especially when it comes to the optimization issues. Because if it takes me about a year to get into the game, something's probably wrong. But, you know, maybe that's just me. Check. Let me know what you guys think. Comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. Do you guys have the same problems that I'm having? Do you guys not? Do you guys think I'm dumb? Say whatever you want to say. Say whatever you're going to say, but at least say it in the comment section down below. And be sure to like, and I will see you gamers in the next one. Bye.